This is Blake Levine and today I want to do an educational talk about helping yourself stay calm in a transitional time. So during all of our lives there will be moments, even days, weeks, or months where it feels like there's a lot of transitions happening. So a few examples could be if you're having a child, that's a new experience, it's going to change the dynamic of your life and family. If you're beginning a new career, uh, or starting a new job, that can be a transitional time. Maybe it's a move where you're moving into a new place to live. And then there are transitional times that are not just based on you individually, but in a collective. So there can be times when the economy is different, when people are feeling nervous or scared. And during these shifting and transitional times, there are a lot of fear because people that are used to the normal way of doing things are worried about if things are going to be the same tomorrow. And the first thing I want to share about how to deal with this is that life is always in motion. The earth is moving and all of our lives are always consistently changing. And when we accept that fact that change is just a part of everyone's life, it helps to make transitional times easier. A second thing I find that helps during transitions is to find ways to feel hopeful. So this might be being grateful for what you have. Maybe you have a place to live or friends or family or job or relationship or a child. Be appreciative and thankful that that is within your life. Many people don't have that and wish that they did. And I find that when your gratitude is large and your um, outlook is positive, it helps not only you but those that are around you. The third thing I want to teach about is being accepting that sometimes things are hard. So when there is transitions, we can feel out of sorts, nervous. Many people, I believe myself to be intuitive, I can pick up on the energy. So if everybody else is feeling scared or anxious, you can start to not feel as good because that energy of those other people feeling nervous can come on to you and you may feel scared. And what I've learned that the ways to counteract that are to find things that help lift you up. So an example would be to read an inspirational book that maybe has wonderful encouraging lessons. Watch some videos on YouTube from noted speakers or people that you enjoy that have optimistic and healthy and even calming discussions. Uh, another suggestion is to exercise. I find that when you work out and move your body you help to make uh, things a little calmer in your own mind and life and that can be a wonderful way to deal with stress and the final thing I want to leave you with is during transitional times we can reach for things that comfort us and as much as some things may comfort us they could harm us so if we're reaching for real fattening foods or we're starting to drink a lot of alcohol we're looking at doing drugs marijuana cocaine crack ecstasy things like this even though they may temporarily soothe our emotions it's setting us up for addiction, and I know that that road can be a really dark negative one. In my own life, my brother passed away of a heroin addiction, and I lost him about age 27. So it just tells me that when we go through these transitions, it's not the right thing to get into addictions, even though it can seem tempting and we might want to escape. Sometimes we have to feel and deal with what we are going through. And the last thing I want to leave you with is sometimes transitions do something positive. I was just listening to a study today where they said that when people go through adversity and challenges, sometimes it helps them to develop perseverance and they end up being in the long run healthier and happier because of that situation. So even if you feel like things are hard for yourself right now, remember that if you'll go to do the best you can to get through it, you may end up in a better mental place from facing that problem. I want to thank you so much for this uh, listening to my little talk here today. Of course, we run the magazine you see below, BipolarOnline.com, with educational videos every day to teach and encourage anyone that needs some help. And I wish you a great, wonderful day wherever you are. Um, thank you for taking a few minutes to let me share my lessons. And uh, I believe we can make transitions instead of a negative experience, something that we handle with hope and positivity. And there's my little son, uh, who's two, Ryan. And uh, I've learned being around him, you can be playful. And it's transitioning being from just a man to being a dad. And I love it. So you have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.